But that was on your list today, Kane. You didn't like it for some reason. Well, it just shows how little or how few characters we have left in the game. Hutchie, in a week where it was all about umpire respect, the, the whole promotion of that Friday night game was around Toby Green when he'd come back from six weeks for brushing <laughs> yeah, an umpire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. around Toby well, Green. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Where, where are the characters? Turn it up. The well, well, there the was one called Jack yeah. Ginnivan, but you, you gave him a And, and, and I, will watch Jack, I will watch Jack Ginnivan. Absolutely, I will. Lance mean Franklin kicked mean... his thousandth goal in the second round. It was the most incredible TV event Carol, of footy we've seen in you years. You can't put your arms we've up. We just talked about Taylor it, Walker. Everything is sterile. Yeah, and you smashed Taylor Walker for comments that he made well, on he, radio he last made, week. Yeah, because they were ridiculous comments. Nothing to do with his on-field performance. He's great to watch. I'm just saying. Dustin Martin's out at the moment. We'll talk about him in a moment, in a few seconds. In, in a year where we're that negotiating. Is the no, that's not, not, it's not at all. In a year oh. where we're negotiating uh, television contracts and Channel 7 are promoting Toby Green, we need more characters. But you're so contradicting Kano. Anyone. Anyone. No, it doesn't mean you I don't. don't not making any sense. No, I don't like Nick, like Nick Kyrgios, Hutchie. I can't stand him, but I'll watch him every time this he plays. It doesn't mean, doesn't mean I like him throwing tennis so balls at ball kids. the most promotable part of the game. Yeah. And Toby is the most I'm not saying, I'm not saying that was the wrong thing to do. I'm saying in a week that was all about umpire respect, that shows there was no one else that would bring eyeballs to that game. Max Gorn, Ginnivan, who else? Who else would you pay Max to go Gorn's and watch? Max Gorn's an unbelievable character Max in the Max, game. Max, what Max about Gorn? Lance Franklin? What Jack happened Higgins in round two? To, Jack Higgins used to be an unbelievable character in our game. He doesn't talk anymore. You don't, you don't hear him. The club yes, doesn't he put does. him up. Yeah, he, he gave Revolt a quick the other, clip the other day. Yeah, AFL's costing themselves money by getting everything that is character-driven out of the game. What is interesting, and Sam McClure wrote about this is, is an article we just showed on screen. Um, clearly, the broadcast negotiations are about to begin. Gillan McLaughlin wants them done this year. He's going overseas to talk to some streaming companies. Craig, I'm sure you're well across all of this. What is interesting is that KO and Foxtel are getting closer to Channel 7 in the ratings. All well, the ratings are down a bit, but Channel 7 seems to be... The, the, the pay TV networks are catching up to them. Mm. I wonder if that's as much to do with 7 not really covering the news of the game after the game. They've got some strong news reporters in their newsroom. But it, it's, if you want to see the after-game news, apart from the coaches' press conferences, you turn to Fox footy. Mm. I'm not sure whether that's right or not, but fascinating, Craig, that on this massive list the AFL's got to do, there is a fear, and Sydney Swans chairman voiced this to me last week, that Gillen might go for the big bucks at the expense of players, clubs and fans with this, you know, floating fixture that a lot of people don't like. Well, I mean, behaviours are changing rapidly, so... It's going to get harder and harder to do a traditional television deal, isn't it, when behaviours are moving to mobile phone and... What are the chances of a streaming service getting involved, do you think? Well, I mean, they in essence already are. KO is a huge part of the game now. But someone like an Amazon... And it's a good product and it's very watchable. And you would think they're going to have to bring at least another one to the table to... to I to... heard Jeff Brown, sorry, Hutch, say he wants a traditional fixture back. Uh, yeah. But then me personally, I love the floating for a Friday night, Caro, that we aren't having... Mm. Teams who are in the bottom six playing on Friday night for you. But you're a selfish commentator who wants yeah. to call a good game. Right. You don't know what it's like to have to plan yeah. two months out to visit relatives interstate, mm. plan a wedding, but who funds plan the game? a 21st. Well, supporters are a yeah, pretty big part are. of it and so are the clubs and they don't like it. There's, it's all very well to be doing all these big deals with the CBAs, etc. and the, the, fix, uh, the, the media rights. Clubs are crying out to know when the next AFLW season is going to begin, when the trade and draft is going to happen and what they're going to be able to pay those players. So there's a fair bit to do and the AFL need to do it now.